Hello everyone. Welcome back to another great episode of Rahana's Cuisines. Today I would like to take the opportunity before I even get started to thank Sakina uh, for recording me. Um, they're, both the kids have started full-time college and they're taking their time out um, to help me record these and I feel I feel I feel good when I'm recording in front of the camera rather than having it on a tripod for some reason. I don't know. But anyways, thank you so much, Sakina. Um, it's Friday and she's taken her time out. I really appreciate it. As far as our light over there, I will be mentioning that in all our videos until we get that fixed. I'm trying to get another fixture. This was a little bit too low, so you guys might be thinking, what is going on with that light fixture? So before you guys comment, I'm gonna have a reply for you. So I'll get that fixed as soon as I can go out. It has been freezing here in Minnesota. We've been running minus 10, minus 15. It's been snowing, it's cold, and so I am hibernating at home, not going out. So anyways, um, today we're getting, we're making um, uh, chicken with yogurt. And um, this is an amazing malai, it's called malai chicken. And this is amazing, it's soft. It's, um, and the yogurt gives it such a nice marination. And then you have the uh, cumin and coriander, which really, really, really um, gives it this taste. And then you can also uh, barbecue this if you like. You can use the grill outside. Um, I will be using my Cuisine Art 5-in-1 griddle. I usually don't talk about those things, um, but because we're in Minnesota and we're indoors, for all the people that you know mostly do the grilling in the winters inside, I have found this to be a really nice thing. It's uh, you can do your panini, you can do so many things in it. So we're gonna be using that indoors, and um, so hopefully we're gonna get good results with that. So I have here about two pounds of chicken breast that is just cut and cleaned, and they're about one inch cube pieces, right here. As far as our um, marinade, I have here about a tablespoon of ginger and garlic. You know that I'm working with chicken, I always add a lot of fresh ginger and garlic in there. I have a video of that, I make a whole bunch and freeze it. I have here about two tablespoons of crushed green chilies. Um, it's completely optional, but it gives it a really nice taste. Have here about a tablespoon and a half of cumin and coriander powder. I also have here about two tablespoons of red garlic chili, chili garlic sauce, and I really like that. Um, you can add more or even take it out. It's all up to you. We're gonna be using salt to season our chicken. We're also gonna be using about a cup and a half of yogurt. Now, I do not have Greek yogurt at home, but I highly recommend if you can make this dish with Greek yogurt, it's much better. It doesn't water it down. Um, I just don't have any in the house. And like I said, I'm not going out in that freezing cold. So I have yogurt, I'm using that today. We're gonna be adding about a tablespoon of olive oil in there. There is no fat in this chicken. And so we're just gonna add a little bit of um, olive oil to give it that extra um, fat. But you see how they're, the pieces are really nice and um, they're just about one inch cubes. I also have here some bamboo sticks that I have been uh, soaking in water. Uh, they've been soaking for about 20, 25 minutes now. Um, very good idea if you're gonna use this on the grill outside, you're gonna put it in the oven. I'm using this first time the griddle for this, so I just decided I was gonna soak them. This prevents it from burning. So now let's go ahead and marinate our chicken. We're gonna marinate this for about half an hour. If you can do it overnight, it's even more amazing. The next day the chicken is just gonna melt in your mouth. So um, we're gonna marinate it. Um, and then after we're done um, putting all our marination in here, we're gonna go ahead and put them on the bamboo sticks, cover it and put it in the fridge. So that way, you know, when it's done, the 30 minutes of marination, all you have to do is start putting them on the grill. So let's get started. Lesson adu, ginger or garlic. Green marcha or uh, green chilies. Cumin and coriander powder, danajiro. Red garlic chili paste or lal chutney. Salt or nimak to taste. One teaspoon of lemon pepper, egg jamchi, lemon pepper. Mm -hmm. 
yogurt or dahi. Excuse me. And, oh, you know what? I forgot olive oil in there. So let's go ahead and add that olive oil. So now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna put my gloves on. And we're gonna take our bamboo skewers. We're gonna start skewering our meat in here. And again, remember that I'm let, gonna let this marinate for 30 minutes today, but like I said, if you can do it at home and have it for overnight or even longer, that would be awesome. You know, the more the marination stays in there, the more the taste is gonna be great. All right, so what I'm going to do is just do it this way and then start putting them on a different plate finish this when we come back I'm gonna put it away for 20 minutes when we come back we're gonna start grilling these together so now I want to show you the sizzle sound it's gonna make do you hear that that's the perfect sizzle that you want to get when you put your meat on, this is because now your griddle is really nice and hot and um, it's not gonna stick. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add all of them on there. And we're just gonna keep on turning them as they brown and make the marks on the bottom. You can see here that our chicken has um, grilled really, really well. About eight minutes I've been turning them just so that it, it's got even uh, cooking on all sides. It's got some charred marks on there. Um, but then again, the quality of this will differ from if you guys make it outside on the grill or how you decide to cook it. But as far as the taste, I did a little bit of uh, cheating and the taste is super, super, super amazing. Um, now, the, the way that I am going to serve it today is I want to serve it on the lettuce, uh, iceberg lettuce um, wrap. Um, I want to kind of put it on there so it's completely a no carb chicken today. So you can take the ones that are done, you take them out. Um, I would recommend that you put it on a cookie sheet or, or a rack first so that it cools down. Once it cools down, then put it on the lettuce wraps so that they don't wilt completely. The other thing, I'll, I did take this one up sooner, although it's still hot. There's two ways that I would like, you can serve this. You can just empty this onto the lettuce, like so. Or you can just take your lettuce and just serve it this way. It, it However you serve it. Either way, it's super amazing. Yeah, they're just super tasty. So, today, I'm just gonna place them just like that. So today I have, um, and, and again, just remember this is for video that I've put it on the hot, on the lettuce, but you want to make sure that they completely cool down first. So, um, basically we're done. I have a piece here that I'm gonna try again, because, when you cut into it it's soft it's it's soft it's juicy uh, look at that look at how, how look at how juicy this chicken is it's, it's beautiful because one thing is we haven't overcooked our chicken this is super delicious we don't have that much ingredients in there if you really look at it but the cumin and the lemon pepper and the ginger and garlic, it's what's giving this chicken, oh, such a great taste. Oh my God, this is so good. This is amazing. Low carb or no carb, this is perfect. You can eat as many of these as you can. So, today we have made Malai Boti 
um, with uh, cumin and ginger and garlic and chicken body bodies are amazing thank you so much for joining me on this episode of Rehana's cuisines hope you can join me here next time with another great video see you then friends today we have made malai boti um, with uh, cumin and ginger and garlic and